I've been up since 6.30, so today we're going to talk about the news. But look who is up before me. Castor Valley form on the driveway. Even though it doesn't seem like I'm reporting the news, I'm reporting the news every single day, every 20 minutes of what's happening around Castor Valley. If you go to Castor Valley Vibe and look under news, there's clicks to different sources of news like the fire, the weather, and today we're going to talk about raising prices around Castor Valley. I'm going to drive around and actually show you the traffic first, which I didn't have to do if I if you went on my website under maps and looked at my uh, map. Underneath the Castor Valley map is um, the traffic map. And it's pretty trafficy. And if you're up this early, this next little bit of news will affect you if you have to go over the bridge. So right now I'm at BART. Looks like they're making some improvements. Channel 2 News was just here. I believe it was here. Anyway, they were talking about BART. So basically we voted for some bill and now we're going to get the bill. And uh, anyway, I thought that was a measure that came out of taxes, but somehow the BART is going to be raised most likely another dollar up to 11. Check out Channel 2 News for that. Let's go check out the traffic before I get a ticket. So every entity is now most likely have or are working on the budget for next year. And I sat in on one of those meetings with Sands, Castor Valley CV Sands, and they're talking about how they're working on potentially raising the fees for Castor Valley garbage. The important thing to know is these are public meetings, so you can go to try to understand and maybe even make suggestions of what you think could happen to make it better. Like one of the hot ticket issues is ensuring Castor Valley's infrastructure in case we have an earthquake that makes our system go down. This would include every utility. PG&E wants to make a hike. Bart wants to make a hike. Comcast always wants to make a hike. In fact, you don't even know what they're doing, seriously. They have a bill that sounds like a used car salesman, for the record. Now the meetings for BART are in Oakland. So I'm on Marshall Street where they have the meetings, the board meetings, and they are open to the public. So get in there, just sit in and listen. Put your iPads down, your laptops, your phones, and come to these meetings that involve the town you live in. Imagine what his bill's gonna be when he grows up. They have a free calendar that will tell you the dates of the public meetings, but you have to go online because uh, I didn't see the finance meeting on the calendar, but you can look online because that's where I found the information. And pray, frankly, they were a little shocked I was there because nobody ever goes to their meetings. For some reason, California has to pay more taxes on everything than anybody in the United States of America. That's not cool. We pay more for gas, yet uh, right around the corner, we produce gas and send it other places other than the Bay Area. And yet we have to pay more taxes for gas. And here's the craziest news. Do you know it's illegal to gather rainwater? Look that one up. When I heard it, I asked someone I believe it was East Bay Mud if it was true, and they said it was true. There's certain things about it. I don't know all the details. It was quite a few years ago. So if you don't want to do this to find out what your commute's going to look like, climb through the bushes and such to look over and see, oh, it's pretty clear. Just go to the map on Castor Valley Vibe. Dot com. Look at the map. There's two maps. One of just the city, and I keep calling Castor Valley a city. Um, and on there, they even have little cameras that show you what I just showed you. So instead of wasting all that time 
driving around town to find out what's happening around Castor Valley. I actually find out things myself just by going to my own website and looking under news. So take your time, come to Bodhi's Java, pull out your laptop or your phone, order your coffee, and while you're doing that, you could check the news and weather and traffic. I know, it's genius. Speaking of coffee, I'm gonna get one of the best coffees in Castor Valley from a small business, Bodhi's Java. So, um, and also you can find out they have a TV going on in here and then Castor Valley Vibe is up there. And you can get coffee of your choice. They got all kinds of good stuff to run and eat. <laughs> what you... Hey, wait, you can't film me. I haven't had my coffee yet. That's not right. Yeah. And you can pick up the Castor Valley form if you don't get it on your porch. Perfect. See, they're making decisions. It even has the weather for the week. Of course, all kinds of fun stuff. And they also have calendar of events of what's going on in Castor Valley. Isn't that awesome? There he goes, off to work. He's got his work clothes on. You should see them all cleaned up. Seriously though, every major company, especially the ones that you pay bills to, all have board meetings. And if it's a public type bill, then there's definitely a board meeting and most likely, definitely, one that you could sit in. And of course we have a Mac board too. It meets inside the library once a month, sometimes more. And they overlook any proposal for something for Castor Valley and then they advise the county what they decide they think they should do. There's a PG&E truck. Now, if you are ha struggling, there are programs on people like PG&E and such that if you can prove that you're poor, <laughs> apparently they'll give you a discount. But you have to send them your taxes and that kind of sucks that you got to send them all your personal information for a discount. Once you go to any page, it takes a minute to load because it's going out and grabbing what everybody is saying in the last 20 minutes on their social media, mostly their Facebook. So if the fire department said something on their page, it'd be under city services. If PG&E said something, it would be under there. Even if Sands, CV Sands said something, it would be on there. This uh, is such amazing uh, system that I have, and it's been there for a long time. So I think people need to go on there, spend a minute, and check out what's happening around Castor Valley. There is absolutely no other resource available that has this type of information including maps, fire maps. So if there's a fire going on anywhere in California, there's a map that you can zoom in on. If you're going up to Murphy's, you can see the fire conditions if there was one. Wherever you're going, it's on castervalleyvibe.com. And seriously, I think moms with kids should go into these meetings and listen to how they're going to raise your rates.